Hey, family and friends. Well, it's that time of day again. It's time for a promise a day, praying God's promises. And today we're on day 33. Can you believe it? We've made it this far. Well, as I tell you every day, when I did a little bit of research, I found on BibleGateway.com that there are 5,467 divine promises contained throughout scripture. That's a lot of promises, y'all. And I I'd be willing to bet that there's probably even more than that, but I'm not going to count them all. So listen, if you just focused on one promise a day, 365 days a year, it would take you 14.98 years to get through all of them. That's almost 15 years. That's a lot of time, and that's a lot of promises. And it's really amazing to know what God's promises are for us. So today is day two. We're going to do eight days of James uh, sorry, James 3.17 in the New Living Translation. And the reason why we're doing it for eight days is because in that one verse, there are at least eight promises that I found, okay? So by the time we get to day eight, you should know through, uh, James 3.17 really well. So James 3.17 in the New Living Translation says this. It says, but the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. So the promise that we're going to pull from this today is wisdom from above is peace loving. And that's a really amazing promise. So I want to encourage you to take that promise, to receive that promise, place that promise on your heart, on your head, on your belly, wherever you need it. But say this, say wisdom from above is peace loving. Can you say it again? Say wisdom from above is peace loving. It is so important that we understand what kind of wisdom, what wisdom from above actually looks like. Because if you don't read your Bible, you might just listen to other people and what they say. But the Bible clearly says that wisdom from above is peace loving. So it's important that when you receive a promise from the Lord, then you in turn respond to the promise. You can respond through prayer, or through declaration or whatever. So this is the prayer I crafted. You could use this one or you can create your own. Here's what I said. Father, I'm so thankful that your wisdom is peace loving. Thank you that your wisdom is not full of distress or unrest or violence or hatred or division or animosity, hatred, strife, rage, agitation, or fighting. Father, especially right now with what our country is going through in the middle of all the chaos and division that is going on, I choose to not only be a receiver, but also a releaser of your peace loving wisdom. Amen. All right. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.